Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to take a few minutes uh, and go through uh, kind of a checklist of things to look for if you're having trouble with a cooling system leak. Uh, this is specifically looking at 2000 Saturn SL1, but uh, will work and apply to all S-Series Saturns as well as many other cars. Uh, so I had the co low coolant light come on in the car recently. Uh, I went and checked the coolant reservoir and I was low, almost empty. Uh, so going through the whole system looking for uh, the leak since I'm not getting any puddles in the driveway. Uh, I started with the coolant reservoir. Uh, I did look it over very good. I don't see any uh, cracks or leaks with the tank. Um, so moving on, I just started tracing the system. So uh, you can see where this line runs and it goes all the way under the intake to the driver's side of the car. And it runs over to these two hoses down there uh, that run into your heater core uh, so I checked those because I recently flushed the system and I'm not seeing any leaks uh, down in there so it looks dry and then the return line comes up into the intake if I can get a good shot in here comes up into the intake right here and I'm not seeing any leaks there either so I know an issue with these cars is that the radiator will crack. Uh, so I was taking a look at the radiator and I don't see any leaks down in there. Um, especially under the car, I haven't seen anything underneath there. So everything looks good on this side. So then I went down and looked down, shine some light in there at the thermostat housing right there and I replaced that last year I haven't seen any leaks uh, so it's in, been in good shape and then following that return hose I did notice uh, if you can see it's looking a little wet by this side by the radiator uh, so a little concerned that there may be a leak but checking that hose uh, that attaches right there there's no leaks uh, and the radiator looks good so um, then the next thing I started looking at was seeing that was uh, the water pump which is right which is this pulley right here so uh, looking at that it looks like the coolant was actually slinging all the way up here and that's where I was seeing this coolant leak um, so to verify that uh, and make sure it was actually coming from that location. I actually just let it run for 20 minutes in the driveway, seeing if I could pr produce a puddle. Uh, and I actually did start getting coolant running off the frame rail. So this would be a good indicator if you're seeing coolant running. You can see the drop, the orange drop hanging there. Uh, if you're getting coolant coming off the frame rail right here, it's a good indicator that uh, something in this region so to double check I took off the plastic wheel well liners and another good indicator you can see how wet how wet that looks and when you look in here you can see how wet it looks under the crankshaft pulley and you can actually see an orange drop again of coolant and you can actually see the coolant running down right underneath the water pump there so it's a pretty clear indicator that uh, my water pump is going out so there's a water pump pulley and I've already ordered a new one assuming it was that uh, that'll be here shortly we'll go through replacing that and probably shoot another video uh, going through that process but uh, this is just a troubleshooting video to help anyone that may be having issues uh, not seeing any puddles in their driveway. So um, I've left this go a little while because I knew it was an issue and I've been driving the car. Another uh, very clear indicator if you're having trouble, if it's the water pump, if it gets bad enough, you'll get this really nice line of coolant slung up on the hood um, as well as all along the engine bay, as I said before. So. I hope this helped. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down uh, in the comment section below. Thank you.